90 Day Fiancé Stars Who Made Odd Choices, Including Jasmine and Her Papuna Serger. Some 90 Day Fiancé cast members are known for their offbeat life choices. However, these reality celebs might believe they're doing what's best. 90 Day Fiancé cast members aren't the best decision makers, but there are a few who've made bizarre life choices, which they might actually regret. The 90 DF franchise has introduced a range of spin-offs since 2014, as well as countless couples who try to defy all odds to stay together. It's sometimes the foolishness of one partner that causes a couple to split. It often boils down to the bad choices that these 90-day fiancé cast members make. Some unashamedly brag about their odd decisions. Recently, it was a surgery that Jasmine Panetta spoke about on 90 Day Fianza. Before the 90 days, which made headlines. However, Jasmine isn't the only one whose controversial judgment is getting attention. Jasmine returned with a bang to 90 Day Fianza. Before the 90 days season 6, she shared TMI about her sex life with Gino Palasolo, or lack thereof. Jasmine's first scene on the show was her asking her doctor to make her a virgin again, so Gina would be attracted to her perfect beauty. The controversial Jasmine thought she had to get her poopy nana tightened, and her mindset was medically inaccurate. Jasmine explained that the procedure involved reconstruction of her hymen and that it was very affordable. As for Jasmine, Gino enjoyed the results as much as she did. When Big Ed debuted on 90 Day Fianza, the most controversial thing he'd done so far was to put mayonnaise in his hair. It was a part of Big Ed's strategy to look more youthful for his young Filipina girlfriend, Rosemary Vega. Since he met Rose, Big Ed, now 58 years old, has been coloring his hair. However, the hair color ended up irritating his scalp. Big Ed found out that mayonnaise could help make his hair smoother and less dry. Rose, who was in her 20s then, she's currently 27 years old, believed that Ed smelled like an egg salad sandwich. David's obsession with dating Ukrainian women took him to a website that functions as a concierge service. It helps to connect men with beautiful women from Ukraine. For the past 15 years or so, David only dated Ukrainian women. The website where David met Lana charged him by the minute. He had to pay to chat with her. David admitted to having spent over a quarter of a million dollars, maybe $300,000 or so, on Lana over eight years. However, despite his expenditures, she failed to arrive when they were supposed to meet. He had to hire a private investigator to track her down. Chris from 90 Day Fianza. The other way season four couldn't make her marriage with Jimmy Noguera last. One issue was all the excuses Chris made to avoid staying in Colombia with Jimmy. Chris collects weapons, and she's always armed. However, at the same time, she also collects onesies. In her introductory scene on Tiogo, Chris dressed up as a fairy, and despite her bad neck, which she claims requires a $100,000 surgery, jumped around in the onesie. She admitted she is 40 going on 20 and has a ton of onesies. Designs with unicorn motifs are her favorites. When Corrine and Paul were together in 2021, they were trying to make ends meet by creating sexual content for online fans. In January 2021, a heavily pregnant Corrine had asked her followers if they'd pay to watch her having sex with Paul at that platform. Over 800 people had voted on Corrine's of poll. Larissa Lima was fired from 90 Day Fiancé for rubbing her body with oil on cam soda. However, Corrine and Paul were already rumored to have been asked to leave the franchise. They didn't seem concerned about the raunchy digital content that they were selling to earn money.